All right, now to the ongoing recent spike in hate crimes across the country. Anti-Muslim attacks have reached a 30-year high. That's according to civil rights groups. Just yesterday, on one of the biggest holidays of the Islamic calendar, a man launched into a racist and anti-Muslim tirade in front of families. ABC 7 News reporter Anza Hassan has the story. Yeah, do you even know what the way? You come from a up country. I was born here, sir. Thank you. I was born here, but enjoy the rest of your day. You're not welcome here, you I was born here, but thank you. You're a devil. Shabazz Sheikh says he's never been involved in a hate incident growing up in San Francisco until this encounter on Monday morning. It took a while for me to register and just process what was happening. And then that's when the fear set in. That's when, like, the internal panic set in. I was worried about other people's safety, my own safety. We don't know this individual. Sheikh says the verbal assault was unprovoked. It happened at McLaren Park as families gathered to pray and celebrate Eid al-Adha, the festival of sacrifice. It's the most important holiday of the Islamic calendar. The pig reference, likely because Muslims don't eat pork. Sheikh says the use of that kind of specific language is also a big concern. So there was a purpose behind that statement. It didn't just come out of nowhere. It was, it was researched, it was targeted, and that's what made it more vile. When somebody is that comfortable spewing hate, what stops them from escalating to violence? Zahra Bilu is with CARE, the largest Muslim civil rights organization in the U.S. She says this year they have seen the largest rise in anti-Muslim hate of the past 30 years. What happened in San Francisco, just another example of it. It becomes socially acceptable for him to act that way. That's what we need to get to the bottom of. So many people have called me. They are fearful, um, especially because it's happening in a public space um, at an apartment. Ala Hijazi serves on the San Francisco Police Community Advisory Board. She was involved in mobilizing the community when a different mosque was vandalized in April. She reached out to the mayor and other officials to alert them of what happened. She says she's upset that more city leaders haven't condemned this attack. And so not to care about their safety, not to make a statement or to even acknowledge uh, their fears, their anxiety, um, especially on a holy holiday, um, it just also shows us that sometimes, you know, not all places of worship are equal. Sheikh filed a police report and says SFPD is investigating. In San Francisco, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.